the purpose of the documentary was to show a snapshot of a day in the life of a person with a disability and people that work with them. But we don't like to use the word disability, we prefer different abilities or conditions. We want you to see the person first no matter what. What's the name of your disability and how does it affect you? I was born with cerebral attacks, yeah. And I, it affects me like, it weakens my muscles. Has your condition affected you all your life at school and out of school? It has affected my social life because um, kids would bully me. Outside of school, um, I was babied a lot because of my disability. What are the positive and negatives of your condition? Positives would be get to go on buses for free. That's cool. I get a lot of opportunities opened up to me because of my disability. And I've made a few friends because of that also. What are the negative parts of your condition? Um, just people being ignorant and annoying. You don't get around it during your daily life. To be honest, I don't really notice it in my daily life. Describe yourself as you see yourself or as others see you. Well, I just, as I said, I don't really notice it that much, so I just see myself as me. Why did you become a teacher right after you finished school? A nice thing if I would help or give back to those who helped me. How do people react when they found that you have a disability, if it, like if told or found out you had one? People act weird about it. Some people are like, oh, okay. You choose this job. I've been teaching for something like 26 years and just thought I wanted to change. Give it a go. A lot of my job is around timetabling students with teacher aids, a lot of time liaising between uh, mainstream classroom teachers and the teacher aids and students, running IEPs, individual education programs, twice a year. Um, I conduct those and in the meantime you're preparing for it or following up to make sure the things that we we're going to put in place for students are in place. There's actually a, quite a, a large medical component. What are the positives and negatives of this job? Um, I enjoy working with such a wide range of staff across the school and across the faculty and parents but most importantly it's the students. So the negatives the negative has always come back pretty much to the same thing and that is just the lack of funding. What's your favourite part of this job? And yeah, my favourite part, I think I've already hinted at that, is, is definitely the students. What are the greatest challenges the students face, you think, when coming here or during their stay, or during their time here? They'll have family issues. They still, they're teenagers so they still have that, you know, the teenage angst and the hormones and the whole relationship ideas. And then what do you want the students to have when they leave the PAC or when they go out to the big wide world, so to speak? Um, I really want them to have um, an understanding of who they are, to recognise what skills and attributes they have and how they can be really valuable members and contributing to society. What's the name of your disability and how does it affect you? Okay, I have cerebral palsy, which is when my muscles get very stiff without, without my say so and tight. Has your condition affected you all your life? Yes, I was born prematurely with my cerebellum missing. What are the positive and negatives of your condition? I don't, I don't have to do chores. If I didn't have my condition, I wouldn't be here in the PAC. And I also wouldn't have come here from the UK. Negatives are, I need help for everything. I can't do sports, which I, would, which I really wouldn't like to. And also, I get really anxious. What have you done to get around it during your daily life? Distraction, singing, medication, being in a wheelchair and meditation. Describe yourself as you see yourself or how others see you? I want to be seen as somebody who's interested in sport, talkative and who's got a sense of humour. Like I said at the start of this documentary, I want you to see the person first no matter what. No matter on your skin, your gender or your sexual orientation or your religion. 
want you to see who you are as a person and nothing else.